Hey, Rick Salmon here. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm here to tell you about one of the latest additions to the Canon family of mirrorless cameras, the EOS R6, which by the way, has taken my wildlife photography to a whole new level. And I think it could do the same for you. I'm also going to tell you about two compact and lightweight fixed aperture Canon RF lenses. The RF 600mm f11 lens and the RF 800mm f11 lens. That's right, f11. More to come on that later. But you know what? Here too, I've been using and loving these lenses for my wildlife photography. So, if you love wildlife photography, sports photography, action photography, if you like to pack light, and if you're budget-minded, I think these products might be just for you. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to start with my list of the top 10 features I like about the camera that I feel will help you make better pictures. Okay, number one, focus tracking. Focus tracking helps you get sharp images of subjects that, get this, are even coming toward you. What's more, you can set the focus tracking on this camera to track people or animals. Setting the focus tracking to animals helped me get this amazing shot of this owl flying directly toward me. How cool is that? Number two, in the animal tracking mode, eye, head, and body detection, which becomes eye, face, and head detection in the people tracking mode. The benefit here is that you always get the most important part of the scene in focus. Number three, the EOS R6 features Canon's new, and this is really cool, IBIS, or in-body image stabilization. This allows for up to eight stops of image stabilization and can be combined with OIS, optical image stabilization in the lenses. And get this, all the shots you see in this video are handheld shots. Number four, continuous shooting up to 12 frames per second with the mechanical shutter and up to 20 frames per second with the electronic silent shutter. These frame rates help you and me <laughs> capture subtle differences in a subject's movement. Number five, a wide ISO range of 100 to, get ready, 102,400, which, can, I can't believe this, which can be expanded to 204,800. This opens up a whole new world of low light shooting for all of us. Number six, a full frame 20.1 megapixel image sensor. With that many pixels, you can get incredibly sharp details in all your shots, even when you crop an image. And by the way, that sensor is the same image sensor that you'll find in the Canon EOS 1DX Mark III. The R6 also has the same Digic X processor from the 1DX Mark III. The benefit, awesome processing power and speed for impressive performance. Number seven, and I know a lot of people will love this, two SD card slots. That's right, you always have an in-camera backup of all your photographs. Number eight, three control dials that you can use to customize your camera controls for making instant camera adjustments. I use the quick control dial number one, circled in red, to adjust my exposure compensation so I get the perfect exposure every time. I use the quick control dial number two, circled in white, for adjusting my ISO. And I use the main dial, circled in blue, to adjust my shutter speed. These dials add a new dimension to the phrase instant access when you need to shoot fast. Number nine, we're coming down the home stretch here. A cool joystick officially called the multi-controller on the back of the camera. This feature was added for those photographers, like me <laughs> and you, who like to place the focus point right on the key element in the scene when shooting in the one-shot mode. And number 10, the R6 is fun and easy to use, plus it can help you capture your creative vision and help you tell your story. Totally awesome, right? Well, now let's take a look at the new lenses, the RF 600mm lens and the RF 800mm lens. Now these lenses are smaller and lighter and more compact than fixed focal length lenses with variable apertures and faster apertures. Actually, they're so light, if I could juggle, I could juggle these lenses. But the cool thing seriously is this. In the travel position, the lenses are collapsed like this. When you want to shoot, you expand them and you lock them into position. Now, this lens, these lenses actually both have a control ring. So you could use this control ring to control your camera functions without taking your eye away from the viewfinder, which in the field, especially when you're doing wildlife photography and sports photography is really important. Okay, get this. Canon also introduced two teleconverters, a 1.4x 
4X and a 2X. These teleconverters, designed to work specifically with Canon gear, extend the range of the lenses even further. And my friends, just as an FYI, I am also loving the R6 for my landscape photography, especially when using the Canon RF 15 to 35 millimeter f 2.8 LIS USM lens. It's another awesomely sharp lens from Canon. Okay, I know a lot of you have a question about that f11 aperture saying, okay, in some situations, I'm going to have to boost up my ISO. And yes, boosting ISO does increase the noise in an image. But here's the thing. The image sensor in the R6 handles noise extremely well. What's more, we can reduce noise in the digital darkroom. But here's the main thing. <laughs> my father had a great expression, and here it is. He used to say that if a picture is so boring that you notice the noise, <laughs> it's a boring picture. Well, listen, thank you so much for joining me. I'm Rick Salmon. I'll catch you later.